Hey, what's good? I'm Sadia, and I think we can all agree that this basic box but face cam is, well, pretty basic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a circle face cam or any shape face cam for that matter. And I'll even show you how you can jazz it up with an animated background. So let's go. So let's start with a circle. For that, what we're going to need is an image of a circle. So let's create one. Don't worry if you don't have something like Photoshop because we'll be using a free website. So let me just move myself out of the way. So what you want to do is go to photopia.com. It's a free website and it's a great alternative to Photoshop. Uh, it's pretty handy. So what you want to do is hit new project and then set the resolution. Uh, let's just go with 9 1920 by 1080 and then make sure the background is transparent because we don't want a rectangle box again. That's kind of the point of making this. So once you've set, set, set it up here, go ahead and hit create. And then what you want to do is go down to the shape tool right here and then click it. And if you right click, you can select any one of these. Um, and then you've got a choice of going to custom and then up here, you'll see the different shapes that you can choose from. So there's quite a lot, as you can see. So, you know, feel free to use whatever you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go with the circle. So what you, so what you want to do is just click it and literally just click and drag and then basically make it as big as you want. It doesn't really matter what size it is, to be honest, um, but I think it's probably best just to fill up the canvas and then all you need to do is go to File, Export As, make sure you select PNG to get the transparent background. Um, the resolution is fine, so just hit Save and that will go into your downloads or whatever you choose to have it saved. So now let's go back into OBS and then what you want to do is go to your camera, so the camera source, so in my case it's the Logitech. Uh, what you can do is right click and hit filters or you can just click filters over here and then hit the plus icon and select image mask. You can give it a name if you want, I'm going to leave it as the default. And then change this bit here to alpha mask alpha channel, which is the second option. And then what you want to do is uh, get, the part, get the image in the put it in the path field essentially. So hit browse and go to the file that you just downloaded. So in my case, it's this little circle here. And as you can see, the face cam has now changed to the circle. So just, just for quick comparison, if I click the eye to turn it off, this is what it was before. And this is how it looks now. So if I close this, you can see here, it looks a lot better. Obviously you can resize as you wish, but let's just, Leave it like that for now. So that's your circle done. Pretty easy, right? If you want to add a border to it, that's pretty easy too. So go back to Photopea and basically change the color of the circle that you want. I'm going to go with orange. So double click in the little corner here and then select the color that you want. If you know the um, hex code, then you can put that in. But for now, I'm just going to pick any orange. Nice little bright orange there. And then again, file export as png that's all good hit save and then go back into obs and this time hit the uh, under sources hit plus click image and then i'm just going to call it orange circle um, and then you just need to browse to the file so let's select that and hit okay cool so now there's our circle and obviously we want it behind the face cam so literally just select it and make sure that it, the source is sitting under so your your webcam or camera whichever whatever device you're using just make sure that's on top like so and then just go back into the orange circle and resize it as you want so i don't want it to be too big i want it to just sort of surround my face like so and there you've got an orange circle easy huh so obviously this applies to any shape. Um, so let me just show you another example and then we'll get onto the animate background. So let's go back into Photopea. We can remove this layer, just hitting the delete key, go back into shapes and let's pick a shape. Um, what should I choose? Let's just go with this car because why not? <laughs> Cool, so we got, got the car, just export it. So again, file, export as PNG, 
that's all good obviously I forgot to change the names before so you can just put that in there hit save it's gonna download I hate when this little thing shows I have to close it and then go back into the webcam go back into filters and then you can just replace the circle image with the car and there you go <laughs> so yeah you can obviously let's hide the background because it looks stupid right now so yeah this applies to any shape just make sure when you export it it's a png so you get the transparent background obviously in this case the orange circle background looks pretty silly you can actually expand it and make it like that if you wanted to basically play around with it but yeah just play around with it and see what you like so now let's move on to the animated background so first i'm just going to revert this because i don't want the car oops so go back into filters and let's change this back to the circle cool um i'm going to resize the circle just for that the sake of the animate background part of this Ooh. okay yeah that'll do so to make the animated background you need an animated background file so i don't know how to create those so i actually just downloaded a video oops so i went to pexels.com uh, you can get some free videos off there i just typed in orange and downloaded this one here because i thought it was really cool so once you've got your file what you want to do is add a new source so go into app plus select media source uh, let's just call it animated background and then select the file that you downloaded so the pixels video in my case and i'm going to set it to loop so that it's constantly going and active so once you've done that hit ok and then i'm going to hit command f to to let it fit the screen and now you can't see anything so just move the layer so what I just done was the animated background layer was at the top there so you couldn't see anything but now you can't see the animated background so we're going to just move it above the display capture so let's just do that so you can see it cool so once you've got the file in what you want to do is go into filters or select make sure that layer is selected or go right click or right click and then hit filters and then you want to add a, an image mask then go to browse and select the circle or whatever shape you want to want to use so let's go with the circle and then you can see that's now in the circle but obviously it looks a bit off because you need to change this part to alpha mask alpha channel and there you go cool huh so let's put that behind my face cam and let's get rid of the original orange circle that we added so i'm just gonna hit the eye to turn it off so if we remove that, this is just with the plain circle and this is with an animated background. How cool does that look? So you can obviously change the shape if you wanted to. So again, go into the filters and then just change the image to, or the shape to whatever you want. So we can even switch it up to the car. And um, now you've got this uh, cool little car with the anim animated effects. So you can even, just do something silly like this and then let's bring the face cam in there like that and I can even duplicate this so let's copy and paste and move the other one in there bit silly but you get the idea so yeah it's really really easy to do so there's a lot you can do with this for example you might want the animated video file to cover the entire background rather than just have it in a shape so let me show you how you can do that so what you want to do is get your display capture and make sure it's on top of your background like so and then resize your display capture how you want it so let's just say we want it that big or let's just go slightly bigger so you might want it like that, for example, you know, where you've got the animated background and then you've still got your screen capture, which is still big enough for people to see. But it just looks looks that little bit more, you know, visually appealing. And then again, you can obviously take off the circle that you added earlier or maybe you don't want to. And you want to bring it back. But yeah, just have a play with it. See what you like and what you don't like. And yeah. 
Uh, if you're curious, all I did for this one was in the filters for the webcam, I just added my the Accelerate logo, simple. And again, you can just use any shape, any image, just make sure that it's a PNG. So you get the transparent file, otherwise you'll end up with the box, which defeats the purpose of this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for even more videos like this. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.